Now let us discuss about Cartesian product operation in relational algebra. Cartesian product can also be called as cross product. Cartesian product or cross product is denoted by the symbol cross mark symbol. It is mainly useful in order to combine one relation with another relation. So it is mainly useful in order to combine each tuple of first relation with remaining tuples of the second relation. Let us see an example for this. We have two, two relations such as student and employee. So here we are performing Cartesian product or cross product on student and employee relation. Then what will happen is so here student relation contains two attributes name and age. Employee relation contains two attributes name and age. Now student cross employee means it contains four attributes. They are name, age, student attributes. These two are the next employee relation attributes are name and age. Name and age. So here the point is if R1 contains M attributes and R2 contains N attributes then R1 class R2 contains M plus N attributes. Here R1 here the first relation contains two columns second relation contains two columns whereas R1 class R2 contains four columns. Here Cartesian product means each tuple of the first relation has to be combined with re, uh, all the tuples of the second relation. So what is the first tuple? Tuple can also be called as the row. So what is the first row of the first relation? A10. So it will be combined with all the relations of the second relation. So what is the first row of the second relation? D15. So this is the first row. So second row is a10 so it will be combined with second row of the second relation so e30 next we have a10 so it will be combined with the last row that is f45 f45 so for space constraints uh, let us write employee relation here so what is employee relation it contains three rows d15 next e30 D15, E30 and F45. Now let us uh, write the second row. So what is the second row of the first relation? First row is over. Combining the first row of first relation with uh, all the rows of the second relation is over. Now what is the second row of the first relation? B20. So we have to combine B20 with all the rows of the second relation. So B20 has to be combined with D15. Next to B20 has to be combined with E30. Next to B20 has to be combined with F45. Next we have to consider the third row of the first relation that is C30. So C30 has to be combined with all the rows of the third relation. So C30, C30, C30. So what is the first row of the third, second relation? D15. Second row. E30, third row F45. So this is nothing but the Cartesian product of student and employee relation. So here, uh, uh, if uh, student, uh, if one, if R1 table has M attribute, if R1 table has M rows, and R2 table has N rows, then we can say that R1 class R2 contains M plus N rows. Here we have R1 table contains 3 rows, R2 table contains 3 rows. So first row, second row, third row. Here first row, second row, third row. So 3 into 3 means what? 9. So R1 cross R2 contains 3 plus 3, 6. 3 plus 3, 3, 3. So 9 rows. So these two points are very, very important. If the first relation contains M columns and the second relation contains N columns, then Cartesian product contains M plus N columns. And the second point is, 
if first relation contains uh, m columns and second relation contains if first relation contains m rows and second relation contains n rows then the cartesian product will contain m cross n rows okay so here cartesian product means we can't say it is a unary operation or binary operation why because we know what is unary operation select and project or uh, select and project operations are unary operations why because in order to perform select and project operation one table is required whereas uh, set operations such as union operation intersection operation and set difference operations are binary operations why because in order to perform those two operations we require two relations or two tables why because relational algebra means we perform operations on the relations relation is nothing but a table in relational algebra but here if we consider this one student is one relation employee is another relation instead of that we can perform operation on student and student also student cross student or employee cross employee in student cross student we have only one relation in employee cross employee we have only one relation okay so we can't say whether it is a unary or binary operation we can say it is a basic operation of the relational algebra so this is about uh, cartesian product or cross product operation in relational algebra